Hi, Interpret here on a critical thing. No, me not through politics, because it's not my thing, but I have to do this. This is Obama's America Economic Crisis and the Power of a Transformative President Challenge. Now, first I was thinking, yeah, this president's going to be about Obama and what he's done for us since it's 2013 and all. Towards the end, actually, but, you know. But it turns out it's actually um, before he even became president, because copyrights is 2008. Well, he only became president, he was probably voted in, in 2008, only became president, January 2009. Which means, which means, of course, that this is before he became president. So, I like to, you know, he did inherit a lot of problems from George Bush, who's also an idiot, for the record. <laughs> but, um, and he was, you know, but Obama is not really stepping the stone in any, he's not making any better. You know, you think he's transforming this way, but it's like universal health care. It's killing everybody. Why do we have to have this? Like, you know, people, you know, people, life is, see, unlike a car where it's a privilege, you don't have to get a driver's license. They could say, no, no driver's license, fine. Life, though, is a right. It's a God-given right. So... There's nothing that says I have to protect that right, which is health insurance. Health insurance protects life. So, who's to say that we have to pay it? What, you, you're gonna you're gonna tax me if I don't pay it? What if I don't pay the tax? You gonna tax tax? You're gonna throw me in jail because I'm not protecting my own life? Excuse me. Who the hell gives you the right to you know do that? But that's like that's like another issue. And then adding like things into. Um, airports taking pictures of people's bodies. Yeah, people. That's like indecent exposure here. Especially if you're a child, that's child pornography. But I guess that's okay because you're the government. Right? So, I don't know. And then, uh, all this other political agenda stuff going on, but I think he's got this... Everybody voted for him because he's black. Oh, he's black. Like, you know. All the black people voted for him. And I'm not saying I'm not racist by any means. I have plenty of black friends and so forth. But I'm saying don't vote for him just because he's black. I mean, there's racist being against somebody. There's also racism when you're just for him because of a color. Basically, no matter what it is, it, can't, it shouldn't kind of come down to color. By his behavior, people. And the fact that all the, all the black people voted for him because he was black is like another... It's like another version of racism in a different way. If that makes any sense. If it doesn't make any sense, leave a comment. And don't say I'm racist. Don't, don't leave that kind of comment. Don't be like, I'm black. I can see the black people like voting. The funny part is, you know, if I say, well, I can see the black people against me, then people will be like, why? Because I'm black? Is that why you're saying I'm going to say it against you? It's like, no. Stop turning my words around. But, no, seriously, about this, um, I don't think he's trans from anything. If anything, we've gone, we've gone from Can you go below ground gravel? I don't know if that's possible. Certain people make the impossible possible, like, God, if DL was present, oh my God. Kill us all. He would predict every world event before it even took place. DL would go, oh my gosh. I don't know. That would be good or bad. He probably would know every every move that someone's going to make before they make it. He would be like, really? I don't know. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway, this has been uh, another critical thinking episode saying Obama is a complete failure. I don't think he's helped anything much, but, um, hey, you know, that's one of my opinions.